It's now time to start using Dreamweaver. So what I'm going to do, quickly open Dreamweaver here. We're going to start creating our website now. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a template. Now, I highly, highly recommend you guys use a template as well. Templates are very simple to follow. And even if you're not doing exactly what I'm doing, if you use a template, you can edit as many things as you want to get the result that you want. So as I mentioned in my design, I'm going to want to have um, a website that works on desktop and on mobile. So what that means, let me just go to my Google Chrome quickly. What that means is that when I shrink my website down, oh, this is perfect actually, when I expand my website outwards like this, this is the typical desktop layout of a website, right? When I shrink it down to something like this, that's maybe the tablet version. When I bring it down, 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 this is going to be, let's say, the mobile version because as you can see, it gets rid of the, the sidebar on the left. That's how I want my website to be. Now, if you use what's known as a bootstrap template in Dreamweaver, it will do this for you automatically in most cases. And that's perfectly fine. So if you want your website to be like that, you're going to want to choose a bootstrap template. I'm going to show you that now. But even if you do not want your website to be like that, I still recommend choosing a bootstrap template because it, it just adds a nice feature, right? And even if this, there's nothing much you have to do for it to work. So the way I do that is to go to Dreamweaver here. And I actually deleted my folders earlier, so I'm going to go and recreate my folders first just to show you guys how I would do it. Go to my Unit 6 folder here. And inside of this, I'm going to right-click, do New, and go to Folder. And I think I call mine GTA. I'm just going to say GTA Website, I think it was. Inside GTA Website. And again, GTA Website is the name of my thing. Whatever your thing is, that's fine. So if you're making a music website, I think I have someone comparing Reason, Logic Pro, and another music program. So yours could just be Music Comparison. I'm going to right-click on a blank space, go to New, create a new folder, and I'm going to have Images in one folder. Right-click again, go to New, create a folder. I'm going to have Videos in one folder. I might not even need this one because I'll be linking videos from YouTube, but I might. I might have a a 10, 20 second video of a trailer I made just to put in here. Right click here, go to new. Um, gonna put audio here. And I'm gonna put all my website files, my normal website files here. So my HTML files, my CSS, I'm just gonna drop everything here. Inside images, I might do something like new again and I might do banner. Cause I might be able to change my banner later on. Cause I mentioned we're gonna need to optimize things later on. So I'm gonna actually choose to use a PNG, which is a, um, a larger image now. And then later on, if possible, if it makes sense, I could change it to be a JPEG, which is going to be significantly smaller. And what I might do again is do new and do roll over buttons, roll over. But yeah, just leave it as roll over. That's fine for me. You don't have to do all of this. If you're not going to have all of these things, you don't need to do all of this. You could just have audio, images, and video, and that's perfectly fine. So here I've got Dreamweaver booted up. And the first thing you're going to want to do is go to where it says Create on the left-hand side. When you click on Create, you're going to have three sections on the left. New Document, Starter Templates, and Site Templates. If you want to do everything from scratch, it's best you go to New Document, and you can choose any setting you want from here, which is mainly going to be HTML and CSS actually. After that, we can go to starter templates. Now, this is where I recommend most people start. If you want a very, very basic layout, which is what I recommend for most people, again, if you're not making your website mobile and desktop, you're going to want to go starter templates, basic layout, and choose any one of these that you think is best for you. It gives you a tiny preview on the right hand side so you can see what it should look like there. If you go to bootstrap templates, now this is where you're going to want to choose the options if you have selected or said previously that you want to have a desktop and a mobile website and you don't want to create two totally different pages you can use bootstrap templates and choose from the list here that's fine so for example i might use one of these because i did say i want my website to work on both mobiles and desktops and obviously tablets as well it's in between what what bootstrap does it allows you to create your website in a way that Whatever screen size visits your website, so if it's a mobile, that's a relatively small screen. If it's a tablet, that's a um, slightly larger screen than a mobile. And if it's a desktop or a laptop, it's going to be significantly larger, right? If you go to your website 
on these devices, it's going to automatically pick up the size of your screen and say, okay, let me change the website based on the size of the screen that this person has. Um, I might do something, I may, maybe product, because I'm going to be doing um, as an individual item, which is Grand, Grand Theft Auto, so I might just do product for me. But there, there are so many options here that you can choose something that will work for you. You could go to site templates as well, but I don't recommend this for this unit. This is more detailed. You don't want to do that. You will have to create some stuff as well. So stick to starter templates. Choose basic layouts if you want a very, very simple thing. But all the same things that I'm doing in uh, Bootstrap templates should work in, in basic layouts because it's still HTML. It's just that for Bootstrap, I want it to work on different kinds of devices. Another thing I might do as well is actually keep a log of everything I'm doing on the P4. So remember on the P4, it says produce a website for an intended audience and purpose. So I started doing this already in a very not so great manner. So for example, I had create banner for my first thing and I showed the first image of what I did when I started creating my banner. Then I showed another image here. Then I showed the third one when it was more or less finished. So I'm going to be keeping a log, a log of everything I'm doing for creating the website. So here is my rollover buttons and here I actually showed my rollover buttons being created. It's not the neatest thing in the world, but I don't think that really matters right now. I think the main thing is showing what you've done. For recording podcast, um, I put the links in a previous video showing you how to use Audacity to do that. So I might do a screenshot here of Audacity, me showing you how to do it again. So all I'm saying for this part is whatever you do, maybe it's a good idea to keep a log. So for example, let's just say the next thing I'm going to do is um, make index page, right? And I'm going to label this heading two. So for this one, let me just fix these things. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. Speak to your teacher and see what's best for you. But there's no downside to having a lot of information, right? There's no downside to having enough. Not let, Let's not say a lot. A lot gives the impression that it's too much. Enough information to give a detailed description of what you did and why you did it. The index page is going to be the home page, right? So typically speaking, when you're making websites, if you see a page called index, that's normally the home page. If you see a page called home, it's normally index page. These are used interchangeably, but normally... For us web developers, when we're doing things, index is going to be the very first page we create. That's going to be somewhat of a template for the rest of the website because whatever we do on the index page, we have to replicate that across other pages on the same website. 